Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 124, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we finished exploring the Jedi Enclave sub-level. We met the Disciple. And I know I mentioned it a couple times on the last one, but just one final reminder. It, he is one of the other things that changes depending on choices you make. If you choose to play the game as a female protagonist instead of a male protagonist, then he is a part of your party instead of the Handmaiden. In which case, you're probably going to want to go to Dantooine first. So that way you can fill out your crew roster ahead of time. Um, how useful he is? I don't know. Dep depends. How useful are any of these guys? Depends on how you set them up. Speaking of how you set them up, these two are ready to level, and I'm not that far behind. Uh, another 10k, less than another 10k. I I might manage that before uh, before we get before we lose our ability to refocus the crystal. So let's level up Mandalore. Should be easy. He's got the two skills. <laughs> he doesn't have very many skills, but the ones he does have. Feats. He gets lots and lots of feats. Uh, hmm. What do we do for him? Because he's maxed out on the precise shot. Um, <laughs> increases damage done with ranged weapons by plus eight. I mean, I guess I could level up his uh, melee weapons because people seem to keep closing into melee range with him for some reason. Uh, I'm not going to bother with two weapon fighting. Not going to bother with caution, because he doesn't use any of that. Not going to do critical strike or empathy. Who heard of a Mandalorian with empathy? I mean, next thing you know, they'd be taking care of a child that was lost and... Uh, oh, wait a second. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, he's not my gearhead. I mean, I could do another power attack, but... Not really doing that with him. Um... Weapons blaster pit? No, because he's taking the biggest blaster rifle I could put in his hands and using that. So let's go ahead and just do weapons focus melee weapon, and on the next go round we'll do the weapon spec melee. Just because I'm not sure where else to put feats. I mean, I'm not going to give him any extra skills. I'm sure not going to give him weapons finesse. Not, not, nah. Let's do, let's do the... People keep closing into melee range with them for some reason. I mean, they don't do it for long, but they do it for some reason. Well, maybe I should have given them weapons finesse. Look at that dexterity. Huh. Okay. And let's get Beodur up. And you, sir, have all the skills. So you're going to get treat injury and security and repair. And computer use and demolitions. And... I think that awareness is as high as it needs to be for anything that you're going to craft with that. So we'll put that in stealth. Feats. You have a more interesting array of feats to pick from. Or um, more possibilities to pick from. Master Flurry wouldn't be a bad one. Although I have switched him back from melee to ranged. Since uh, he does seem to survive better that way. Although, if I'm going to keep doing the range stuff, I might want to give him the improved close combat. And maybe start down the precise shot tree. Uh, regenerating health might not be so bad. Stealth. Getting that as a class skill means I can increase it faster. Toughness wouldn't be a bad one for him either. And, and getting him any kind of focus would be really nice too. Uh, much like me, he's lacking in focus. Alright, I'll just let that one sit there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the improved close combat first. Then I'll do the weapons focus. And then I'll figure figure things out from there. Okay. And accept. And there we go. Everybody's leveled. Let's go ahead and save everybody leveled. That seems smart. I tried to play smart. I don't always succeed. Alright. 
We're not at the final countdown. Go ahead, sing the song if you want to. I won't because of copyright reasons. No, nope. no more guys to meet there. Oh look, there's a bigger group over here. Huh. Let's uh, let's go have a chat, shall we? Say, uh, oh. First, 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 first. Joran. Better now, thanks to you. <laughs> I don't think I thank you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I really yeah. hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. I meant what I said about no returns, though. Mm -hmm. I need the money to go home. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Yeah, let's start asking about that theft first. All of us salvagers know about that. I'd ask Darala, though. She's talked with the militia the most about mm. it. If you ask me, the thief isn't human. It's one of those smart Lagrex. Uh, sure. Back again, huh? I don't know what more I can say to you. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Uh-huh. All of us salvagers know about it. Okay. You're not gonna... Ah, the Traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. Mm -hmm. So, what should we talk about? All right, nothing else there. What about over here? Jiren says you saved him down there. Next time, you should ask for a reward. <laughs> I hear you saved Joran. How many settlers would help us, salvagers? You're all right by me. I hear you saved Joran. Oh, yeah, How yeah. Many settlers... I hear you saved Joran. Okay. How many settlers would help us, salvage? I hear you saved Joran. Okay. How many settlers would help us? What about still you? still lurking around here. Just go back to Kunda. You're not going to find any Jedi artifacts here. Well, no, because I took them all. Except the ones I'm selling. All right, well, let me see what you're selling. Certainly. Take your time. Look through the Anything pile. new? Anything new since the last I looked? All right, that's not bad. Uh, plus three damage, two to 12 on critical hit, although not for that money. Matter of fact, sonic damage, it's done. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go buying anything. Um, oh, she doesn't buy. She only sells. Huh. What kind of merchant are you? All right. Fine. Let's see if we can get a little more Back out of Jordan. Huh? Cause I'm I, I, I could have sworn there was more you. you're supposed to be but able to nice get to out of them. Again, regardless. It was all hmm. tape -A's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. We barely got in there. Then everybody started going left, and then before you know it, we were under attack by yeah. those beasts. So sell. Uh. All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So the sublevel is about the only place it's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down there. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from Not that dangerous. There. Not that it matters. Uh, almost nobody? Who's the almost? Nothing gets by you, huh? There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the best halls ever. Tapele said we could do that too. <laughs> but they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. Oh. How did they die? They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. We're so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back, and one died right away from his wounds. The other man was going to be rich, but then hmm. he picked a fight with Garrick. Okay. It wasn't much of a fight. Then there was no one left, and that's the whole problem. How can dead people cause problems? Well, since every last one of them is dead, they're fine just sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever. And okay, so this nobody. is what the will is so about. keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers, or that they're related. But Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's going to believe is a will. And after some tried to pass less than authentic ones off. Oh, maybe it's a good thing we didn't edit it. they'll only take a will and their personal effects. All right. Whatever you want to know, I owe you. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Can you tell me about? Oh, they like tunnels, and we never saw much of them except underground in the hilly regions. I guess to Allegric, the sublevels must be like paradise. Though. That's fair. It was all tape a lace. Uh, no, we barely we're got back in there. Before you know it, we were under attack. Uh, did you find? I think I was the only one that managed to find anything worth something down there. A crystal and a couple things that looked like they go in a lightsaber. Okay. I think we've gotten all we can out of him. You know what? Since we're here, let's just uh, check in on the mercenaries real quick. Alright, maybe not so quick. And then we got to get to the Crystal Cave to save Master Vruk. So, uh, were you the one that ran away? I'm thinking of visiting some of the local settlers, running low on supplies. <laughs> oh, really? I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's nope. been a long time since we've had a paying job. Some of us are getting jumpy. Sounds like a personal problem. Um, uh, hmm. I think I've already asked him all these questions. Yeah. All right. I was hoping for something more, but I guess not. Then let's uh, let's head back, head out to the Crystal Cave, and uh, manage some things. Uh, and this, yeah, that should put us right by the Crystal Caves. Uh, I see our friend over there. Oh no, he's he is still there. Hmm. We might have to visit him on the way out too. All right, Master Vruk. We got you. To the Crystal Cave. Again. We should still have our handy map, right? Yeah, so we just need to head up that left branch a little ways. And uh, we'll be right there. Everybody a nice bump before we walk into things here. <laughs> Master Vrook is enclosed in a force field, a prisoner of these mercenaries. He regards you without expression. Okay. Halt, Settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? <laughs> you should what Kinrath? Leave. There aren't any more there. I'm here to rescue the Jedi. Why are you holding Master Vrook prisoner so the mercenaries are branching into kidnapping? That Jedi belongs in his cage. All right, so the mer sarcasm, or I'm here to rescue. Let's go with the second one. See if we can get some intel on it. Well, the bounty's gonna be that much sweeter then. Nar Shaddai is paying extremely well for Jedi. Oh, that bounty, the one that's been chasing me everywhere I go. Simple for your little calf hurting head, unless you want to wind up dead. Leave now. Open the cage, let the Jedi out. I don't want to fight, but I can't let you take Vruk to Nar Shaddaa. Can we work out some sort of deal? Uh, mm. Can we work out some I sort of deal? my orders, and nothing you can offer will change that. Besides, we're going to no, be rich no, you're not. the bounty for this Jedi. Uh, can I ask you a question? I'm not in a question answering mood. Oh, okay. You're not supposed to be here. Leave or face the consequences. I'm hearing a lot of talk, but I'm not seeing a lot of, you know, I don't want to fight, but I, I can't let you take Vrk to Nar Shaddaa. Eh, let's try the persuade. What? That's a Jedi trick. We trained against that during the war. It's ah. a Jedi, man. Kill him before he tries something else. Doggone it. Okay. Fine. All right. Stupid Jedi mind trick. Hey, where's all those buffs I put on everybody? Ugh. Fine.
Oh, Always maybe I didn't. Rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda Seriously? Danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Did you not? Did you not see me try to negotiate? I I offer I offered money. I offered to talk. I tried the force persuade. Not as a first, as a last resort. And you're gonna get. Dude, get back in the cage. Get back in the cage. All right. I apologize for interfering. I was trying to help. How, how are you going to help in the cave? Always a pleasure, Vruk. I see you still have your cheery disposition. I could always stick you back in the cage if it would make you happier. Oh, that's kind of tempting. All right. I apologize. Right now, Dantooine is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, yeah. I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on. Every Seriously? Every action has Dude. consequences, no matter how small or Yeah, I've been hearing that from Korea. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Thanks, Mandalore behind me. Reminds me of that. Tragedy is caused. <laughs> the Mandalorians had to be stopped. The Jedi Council was doing nothing. Eh. <laughs> Is this the same careful timing you're counting on in the Mandalorian Wars? Mm, so tempting. All right. Uh, okay. What should we do now? I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. And what did you learn from the mercenary captain? The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange oh. and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And hmm. now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Well, okay then. Go. Don't mind me. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll take care of these remains. I'll take very good care of them. Because time is of the essence. I'm actually kind of glad I looted all these boxes the first time because... Oh, no. Never mind. I guess it unlocked some of the ones that were locked earlier. Hmm. That, uh... Yeah, I know it's empty. Oh, one last bit of remains. <laughs> mercenary orders. This datapad contains orders from Eskul to senior mercenary officers. The mercenaries have recently made a secret alliance with the Exchange and are planning on... Okay. Th this is basically what uh, Master Vrook told us. Then, uh, I guess it's time to get out of here. I guess it's time to save the game and then get out of here. <laughs> All right, now here's the question. We're getting ready to get into a big fight. So do I have the best crew for the job? All right. Okay, so we'll have some quests to turn in, but first and foremost, I love Beodor, but we're about to get into a lot of combat-heavy stuff, and that's not really his bag. So, I'm gonna get rid of him and either add the Handmaiden or Kriya. Mandalore is gonna provide pretty good support uh, from a distance, and he can put out some damage. Although, do I really need the range support, or do I want more Jedi powers? I definitely want the Handmaiden. You know what? Let's just go ahead and... There we go. What's better than one Jedi? Three Jedi. <laughs> and it looks like they need to be caught up on the leveling, so let's do that real quick. Level up. And you and your lone skill point. 
Um, that's right. I started to do the battle meditation and then remembered she she wears the heavy armor. So that's not going to help. We need stuff that uh, we need to give her powers that are not affected by wearing armor. So I guess that's uh, upgrading the stun. Except, okay. And let's level you up. Let's go skills. You got the treat injury and awareness and stealth and repair for some reason. Because those are the only class skills for you that I can bump up. Okay. That's right. She's the one with the laundry list of powers. And that's why I should have her along for this one. Because she's got all those support powers. Uh, what? What else do I want to give her? I mean, what else is there to give her? Because uh, she is tapped out on all of those. Force body, but that's basically to convert hit points into force points. And she's not playing that kind of character. Uh, she doesn't have the hit points to spare. Revitalize. Okay, revitalize. That's going to be the one that we go ahead and give her. We're going to get the revitalize line going. Because that, that would be very useful. Alright, there we go. And she's leveled up. Matter of fact, because uh, she was wearing the Corellian power suit. And she's the one who's got the, other, the only other person wearing robes. But she is wearing Jedi Master robes with a defense bonus of... Three. So, wait, I thought there was another set. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are restricted to dark side, and those are restricted to light side. And since she is a gray Jedi, she can't wear either one of them. Oh, and I should probably upgrade that lightsaber too. Because uh, I think I can get that better better set up than what she's currently got. Uh, let me grab something to jot some notes on. Because right now it's 3 to 24 and a plus 38. Let's, um, let's do this. Let me go ahead and swap her out for T3 real quick. Well, let's level the guy, little guy while we're at it. Because he should be quick. He gets all the skills. Okay. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to go talk to him. Come on, talk to the little guy. All right, can you upgrade an item for me? What math? All right, so now let me just double check. I've got the Pontite lens, fencing emitter, and an ion energy cell. Let me go grab a lightsaber. Not a short lightsaber, because that's what she's already got. An actual regular lightsaber. Uh, giving her a red one would be a little too on the nose. Um, no, I, I'm trying to keep, keep them fairly separated. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Let's just leave the red one in there. Let's get her... The fond crystal and that one there. Uh, and the Pontite lens. The expert fencing emitter. And ooh, that is the question. The superior ion energy cell is great if we're going up against droids. The Telgorn Jort cell mark two. Well, not the best one that I can get is close enough for these purposes. Um, now, let's go ahead and just do the uh, ion cell. All right, let's assemble that. Let's close that and let's um, swap. 
swap our crew back out. Go back to the equipment. So it was 3 to 24 with a plus 38. And we switched that up. And that just brought her 12 to 45. Uh, plus 37 instead of a plus 38. But seriously, at that point, uh, I guess the red's a little too on the nose. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. All right. Uh, and everybody needs to have their lightsabers out because we ain't hiding that we're Jedi now. What was that about? Okay. Alright, and let's save the game just to be safe. And before we tally ho out to the rescue of Kunda, we're going to take a break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.